Assalamualaikum. Hello and welcome to the English Year 6 online lesson. Today we will learn in Unit 10 writing with the topic Be Aware, Take Care. By the end of the lesson, you will be able to write a good composition. You will be successful if you're able to write sentences based on the phrases given correctly. Before we start, you can take out your textbook and open page 99. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's learn. Okay, previously we have learned how to write a speech. So today we will continue to write a composition. Okay, a good composition needs a good organization of paragraphs. It has usually has five paragraphs. Okay, do you know what is composition? Tahu tak apa tu composition? Uh, composition ni lah yang kita kata kara, karangan. Okay, karangan. A good composition. Karangan yang baik needs memerlukan a good organization of paragraph. Dia kata memerlukan satu susun atur perenggan yang Baik, dia kata, it has usually five, has five paragraphs. Biasanya, composition ni dia ada lima perenggan. Okay, five paragraphs. Lima perenggan. So, what are the five paragraphs? Apa lima perenggan tu? Paragraph one, we have the introductions. Kita ada pengenalan. Okay, pengenalan. This is where you will introduce your uh, title, your topic. Uh, di sini di mana kamu memperkenalkan tajuk kamu. Okay. So, next we have paragraph 2, 3 and 4. In the middle. Okay. Paragraph 2, 3 and 4. This is the body part. Uh, ni bahagian badan dia. Okay. This is the body part. And then the last one, paragraph 5, is where you need to do your conclusion. Ni bahagian kesimpulan, penutupnya. Okay, so you have paragraph 1 for introduction, paragraph 2, 3 and 4 for body, and paragraph 5 for conclusion. So inside the paragraph 2, 3 and 4, in each paragraph, you need to write main idea, supporting details, and concluding sentences. Do you still remember how to write this? Very good. Main idea is isi penting, utama. Supporting details adalah maklumat sokongan. Uh, contoh, example, more explanation, kan? And then, close with the concluding sentences. Berakhir dengan ayat uh, kesimpulan untuk setiap isi penting. I hope you still remember how to write this one, okay? Okay, that's it for the five paragraphs explanations. Okay, next. Let's read. Okay, this is from your textbook, page 99. Okay, so let's discuss it together. What is the meaning of each phrases and words given here? So you can understand how to write. Okay, how to write the composition later. Okay, the topic is keeping our home safe during vacations. Keeping our homes safe during vacations means keeping ni bukan menyimpan tapi mengekalkan, okay? Mengekalkan rumah kita safe, selamat during semasa vacations, percutian, okay? The introductions given to you is there are many ways to keep your home safe when you are going on a holiday. So, introductions adalah pengenalan. This is the first paragraph. There are many ways to, ada banyak cara to keep your home safe untuk mengekalkan keselamatan rumah kamu when you are going on a holiday, bila kamu keluar bercuti, okay? So that is for the first paragraph. Then continue with the second paragraph, paragraph 2. Okay, so look at the picture. Okay, someone 
unlocking the door or lock the door using keys okay so the words or phrases given to you is should home securely lock okay should patut home rumah securely dengan selamat lock dikunci okay we have switch alarm switch ni uh, hidupkan alarm penggerak okay alarm tu penggerak next lock windows doors and gates lock very good lock means kunci windows pinggap doors yes pintu and gates gates is pintu pagar okay okay help avoid robbery help means membantu avoid elakkan robbery robbery means rompakan okay okay now we go to the third paragraph look at the picture first there's a girl using a computer maybe or uh, she is using a social media her social media so the phrases given to you should not leave clues should not leave clues means jangan tinggalkan sebarang petan petanda away away maksudnya pergi vacation what is vacation just now very good bercuti cancel deliveries cancels mean batalkan batalkan deliveries penghantar run okay the third ensure what is ensure very good pastikan no postings no postings means kita tak uh, post apa-apa uh, kita tak umumkan apa-apa social media social media media sosial yeah maybe in your facebook your instagram okay help avoid burglary help membantu avoid elakkan burglary burglary ni pun uh, rompakan lebih kurang sama as robbery okay next paragraph 4 look at the picture there's two policemen on a motorbike okay around the around the neighborhood okay so let's look at the phrases given to you paragraph 4 perenggan keempat should ask for assistance from people trust okay should ask for assistance patut minta bantuan assistance ni adalah bantuan from daripada people orang okay trust dipercayai trust percaya okay dipercayai ask neighbor Keep an eye. Ask neighbor ni uh, minta, okay? Ask. Bukan tanya kat sini, tapi minta neighbor. Ask neighbor, minta neighbor ni jiran. Keep an eye. Keep an eye ni maksudnya bukan simpan satu mata, okay? Tapi keep an eye means tolong tengok-tengok kan, okay? Inform police holiday. Inform beritahu polis. Holiday tu uh, bercu, bercuti. Okay. Help avoid break-in. So, help avoid is the same as paragraph 2 and 3. I hope you remember the meaning just now. Break-in means pecah masuk. Okay. Break-in pecah masuk. Then, lastly, in paragraph 5, you need to write conclusion. So, starts with in conclusion. Sebagai kesimpulannya, okay. In conclusion, so I hope you understand all the words and phrases. So it's time for us to write the composition. Let's go. So let's write. First is the introduction. Introduction in paragraph one. We have been given the introductions right in your textbook so just write it back for the topic keeping our home safe during vacations the introductions there are many ways to keep your home safe when you are going on a holiday okay next proceed with the second part 
the body. How many paragraphs for the body? Very good. There are three paragraphs for the body. So let's proceed with the paragraph two. So this is the uh, the words and phrases given to you just now from your textbook. So you can build your paragraph like this. It, first of all, first of all, maksudnya kita nak sebut mula-mula sekali, yang pertama sekali, okay? First of all, you should make sure that your home is securely locked. Do not forget to switch the, to switch on the alarm. Lock all windows, doors and gates. It will help you to avoid raw breathe. So, the main idea there is, you should make sure that your home is securely locked. Kamu Perlu pastikan rumah kamu dikunci dengan selamat. And then the supporting details. Do not forget to switch on the alarm, lock all windows and doors and gates. Jangan lupa untuk menghidupkan penggerak. Kunci semua pin, uh, tingkap, pintu dan pintu pagar. And then the concluding sentences will be It will help you to avoid robbery. Ia akan membantu kamu mengelakkan rom pakan. Okay, next we go to the third paragraph. So this is the words and phrases given to you just now. You can write like this. Secondly, you should not leave clues showing you are away on vacation. You need to cancel all deliveries to your address and ensure there are no postings on the social media telling about your vacation. This will help you to avoid any attempt of burglary. So in the second paragraph, we already write first of all. So we continue with the secondly. Yang kedua, you should not leave clues. Kamu tak uh, tak patut meninggalkan sebarang petanda showing you are on vacation. You are away on vacation. Memberitahu kamu uh, sedang uh, pergi bercuti. You need to cancel all deliveries. Kamu patut batalkan semua penghantaran to your address ke alamat kamu and ensure there are postings on the social media. Dan pastikan tidak ada sebarang pengumuman pemberitahuan di Media sosial, telling about your vacation, memberitahu tentang percutian kamu. Okay, this will help you to avoid any attempt of burglary. Ini akan membantu kamu untuk mengelakkan sebarang kes rumpah kain. Okay, so remember kids, don't show everything on your social media. Okay, it's not safe. Okay, okay now we go to the fourth paragraph. So this is the words and phrases given to you. So you can write like this. Lastly, you should ask for assistance from people that you trust. You can ask your neighbor to keep an eye on your house while you are away. You can also inform the police telling that you are away on a holiday. This will help you to avoid break-ins while you are away. So the fourth paragraph we use lastly. Yang terakhir sekali. You should ask for assistance. Kamu patut minta bantuan daripada people that you trust. Orang yang kamu percaya. E. You can ask your neighbor. Kamu boleh minta uh, jiran kamu untuk keep an eye. What is keep an eye just now? Very good. Tengok-tengok kan. Your house. Rumah kamu while you are away. Sementara kamu pergi. You can also inform the police. Kamu juga boleh memberitahu polis. Telling that you are away on a holiday. Memberitahu mereka yang kamu... Uh, sedang bercuti, okay? This will help you to avoid break-ins while you are away. Ini akan mengelakkan kamu mengalami pecah rumah semasa kamu uh, tak jadi rumah, okay? So, the last paragraph is the conclusion, paragraph 5. You can write like this. In conclusion, before you go on a holiday, make sure you take as many precautions to keep your home safe from any time of robbery, burglary or break-ins. Our safety is our responsibility. Okay, sebagai kesimpulannya, sebelum kamu pergi bercuti, make sure pastikan ambil sebanyak mana precautions. Precautions ni langkah berjaga-jaga untuk mengekalkan rumah kamu selamat daripada apa-apa attempt, cubaan, Robbery, burglary atau break-ins, rompakan ataupun pecah rumah. Our safety, keselamatan kita adalah tanggungjawab kita. Okay, I hope you understand. It's time for you to complete your exercise in the link given. Any questions, you can ask me through WhatsApp.
Thank you.